Let's talk about niacin, vitamin B3, and schizophrenia. Now, there's some fascinating information on this topic. Schizophrenia is a combination of having hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, mixed with feeling disconnected, loss of interest in life, and feeling emotionless, which basically is you're apathetic. Now, the medical theory of what causes schizophrenia is you have dopamine excess. And so you're given certain drugs to help regulate that. The problem with those drugs is it has certain side effects that cause metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance, which has been shown to worsen these symptoms because of what it does to the brain. So as a side note, there's some great data. I'll put some links down below of how ketones, going on the ketogenic diet, can help reduce those symptoms. But that's not part of this video. It's a side note. However, there was a doctor named Dr. Abraham Hoffer some years ago who had a different theory. And that theory was called the adrenal chrome theory. Adrenal chrome is basically the byproducts of adrenaline. And in his research, he found that the chemical structure of adrenaline was very similar to LSD. And so it had certain types of effects on the brain if it was in higher amounts. So his whole theory was that schizophrenia comes from excessive amounts of adrenal chrome in the brain, which is toxic. Now, normally you're supposed to have an enzyme that clears that chemical out. And people with schizophrenia have a defect with this enzyme. So he found that by taking large doses of B3, about 3,000 to 18,000 micrograms per day, and I'm talking about straight niacin, I'm not talking about the time-release niacin, the one that doesn't give you the flush, um, there's more side effects with that one rather than just take straight B3 niacin. But anyway, he found that by taking large doses of niacin, you can prevent the conversion of the precursor for adrenaline called noradrenaline, thereby making less adrenaline. So it will help clear out adrenaline. It helps you produce less adrenaline, which can be toxic to the brain, especially if you have a defect to this enzyme. But also B3 will reduce liver toxicity. It'll help reduce oxidative stress in the mitochondria, as well as help your DNA repair. There are several double-blinded studies that were done. One of the studies showed a 79.5% improvement in symptoms. Now, he died some years ago, but recently there were some other additional studies that were done to show improvements with schizophrenia using high doses of not just B3, but other B vitamins as well. I'll put that research down below. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.